Hi Humanoids, thanks for joining me today to discuss, well, what the title is about and the C3 dead. That was a little bit dramatic, but just my opinion on E3 and if I think it's dead, I know it's a little bit of clickbaity title, but a girl's gotta hustle. But um, yeah, the truth is, maybe? Because I want to know if anyone else shares this opinion about me about E3 is like, because if I remember correctly, before the pandemic, E3 was not going down a good path. Besides people pulling out, besides Besides the reports of infighting and articles from like Kotaku, I believe I'll link the article links in the description, but besides publishers pulling out like Activision Blizzard that was before the pandemic with the Sony during the pandemic and then their trajectory like doing like more esports and like influencers getting celebrities who played which fine whatever but like that's not why I'm going to 83. I'm going to 83 talk to like publishers, developers, cosplayers, voice actors. To, like I'm not going there to literally have another influencer shoved down my face you know what i mean like nobody asks for that it's cool that influence hype this up and normalize it enough where if there's a big enough market where we have options now even though even though people keep choosing to pick crap that's still but that's just my opinion but like why are they like becoming mainstay i don't care no offense i don't care if jake's there they're advertising to more influencers for obvious reasons because they want to bring the kids and they advertise the esports because once again the kids and they're advertising celebrities because of the things like 2k uh, i'm it's like a money grab like way people profit off actual sports they can do that now with esports does not even get to the nitty-gritty of like having to get to the top tier esports is spend a lot of money i can't wait until that's banned because the way things are looking it's gonna be banned i don't know when i don't know how album it's in my lifetime but it's soon i can feel it in my blood but that's beside the point i'm getting all weird and crappy on it. i mean okay i'm not let's not talk shit because i'm actually going somewhere here like they do they're gonna have xbox they're still gonna have realtors and investors and publishers and developers it's all gonna be virtual of course which is but they're probably saving money on that fact just alone you know what i mean i mean after the pandemic when people are comfortable enough to be in close crowds what are you going what is what is it going to be are you going to capitalize on the nostalgia of how e3 used to be which i think you should i mean like people are going to want to go do stuff after this i'm going to want to go do stuff after this i don't want to go do stuff normally i don't want to do anything anyway i mean they're not dead even phil spencer said that he was looking forward to this e3 so I, and i'm pretty pretty sure not every publisher is gonna pull out of e3 because not every publisher wants to handle their own event every single fucking year that seems probably more like ahead of them and i'm pretty sure maybe not every like indies can afford to do that every single year better to have a showcase but there we go focus on indies i would love to see like this a whole section dedicated to indies this section and make it better amp them up better amp the cosplayers up give them the whole arena to like really interact lower and pay these people not just the people who are showing up as cosplay like hire actual cosplayers these are just my suggestions of what would be badass if when we could physically go to e3s obviously we have the standard meet and greets never get rid of those and stop replacing them with influencers and celebrities if that's what you want and please don't do that i beg of you ever do that i can't tell you what exactly what to replace it but you have past e3s that have succeeded and was amazing just like for me the e3 of when fallout 4 came out which i don't i believe was like 2013 for with a trailer i want to say 2013 the summer yes e3 fallout 4 oh my god i felt that rumbling i knew it it was the whisper, whispers of e3 and when fallout 4 came out i lost my goddamn mind granted it will never take place of fallout new vegas for me but okay it's a good game not the best game mods make it better and i have a lot of fucking mods it's probably actually probably when my system fucking just died all oh, the mods i have on it Ugh. did i do it is it my fault Am I a bad mom? My bad system mom? Anyway, that is not the point. People just want to go do things pre-COVID. And they should just capitalize. Well, another thing they would have to hurt is like enticing. Like enticing the people who were left to come. But hey, maybe if you got it to the way it was, all these companies who did leave would come back. It's just a suggestion. Comment it. Maybe if you once again refocus on everything involving game 
mean and every nitty gritty and deep details of that culture again people will come back in droves and stop talking so much stop talking so much shit and my republisher was will come back hey i'm just saying don't hang me here i don't i would i don't know i'm pretty sure if they just went back to the way it was but with obviously some updating because you can't always stick to all put a new coat on it go back to pre 2015 e3s and you got yourself you got yourself a winning formula just repaint it with some new stuff hire the right people who actually care i mean i want to go to a u3 that's the whole point of this video stop focusing on the because i the whole point of this video was to remember the trajectory they were going was which was well, not cute we didn't want that we don't want to focus on esports like 2ks and celebrities and influencers those no we want to go back to pre-2015 e3 when it was just the gaming fiesta that the gaming showcase that everybody literally marked down on their calendar like like two three months in advance because when it gets hot, we know what's coming. But let me know what you think. I want E3 to survive. I want to go. I think I actually want to be around people for the right environment. But anyway, let me know what you think. Do you want an E3? Do you prefer virtual events? Do you just never want to leave your house again? So it doesn't matter to you. But stay safe. Stay happy. And please do good things for goodness sake. Humanoids. Bye.